I don't care who you are. Life is going to knock you down. How you handle rejection determines whether you will be successful in life. Do you know what rejection does to self-esteem? Do you understand how personal this is? I'm talking about what happens in your stomach. I'm talking about the taste of bowel in your mouth that comes out of your liver. Because it's not just that the door is closed. The closing of the door says, you ain't no man. You ain't no man. You ain't nothing. And this is a crisis. And it brings up every negative thing that has ever been said about you in your whole life. You get to make a choice. Is failure going to break you or is failure going to make you? You get to decide failure doesn't. It's okay to fall. It's okay to cry. It's okay to go home. But quitting should never be an option. It's not in falling that makes us failures. It's in not getting up that makes us failures. And you get to decide if you get up or you don't get up. We're going to take setbacks. We're going to take some, some defeats from time to time in our lives. But when that happens, what that actually does, and what that actually should do, is make your vision clear. Make your mission clear. You'll be forced to focus harder on what's needed to be done. You'll be forced to reassess your approach, reassess your strategy, rearmor your mind to test your mental strength. The point of rejection is the place where faith is proven. When you're under the weight of devastation, your faith will stand trial. If you don't truly believe, you'll crumble. But if you know deep down this dream, this goal, this vision you have for your life, this is for you, then you will find a way to get through it. Most of you are not under covenant. Covenant means, look, me and you, if the covenant go down, we go down with it. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. When you do videos every single Monday and ain't nobody paying you. When you come to an engagement and you speak as if you're making the most you've ever made when you're not. When you get up at six, when you don't have to. Covenant is the mindset. And if you change your mindset, mindset is important because we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use to create them. You gotta change the way you think. All you need to do is change your thinking and you change your world. You don't need to change anything else. There are those of you in this room, you don't need another book. There are those of you in this room, you don't need another course. And I'm not telling you not to take one. You don't need to do anything else. You are enough as you are. You just don't believe in yourself in the way you're supposed to believe in yourself. And it comes out when you talk to other people. They sense that you don't believe it. And people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Sometimes when you don't know what to do and you don't know what to say and you don't know how long it's going to be, all you can do to express your faith is not dance, is not shout, is not talk and talk. Real faith will just keep on walking. Somebody needs encouragement because right now the conditions are not right and they're not conducive for what you're trying to burn and you got to keep on walking. I don't know where the money's going to come from. But keep on walking. I don't know when the problem's gonna get fixed, but keep on walking. I don't know when the student debt's gonna be paid off, but keep on walking. It was good they rejected you. It was good you didn't get the job. It was good the door didn't open. It was good that it didn't happen the way you imagined it. Because life is redirecting you. It is setting you up for something greater. I want you to stand right now and I want you to declare that your future, you're going to be your better you in the future. There's nothing we can do about today. But in the future, we're going to work on the future. And your future is going to be better than any day you've ever had in your life. These struggles will not define your destiny. You're stronger than these obstacles. You dictate your future. Nothing else does. Every human being has what it takes to get through whatever they're facing. If they decide to, you got to decide that you're not going to stop for anything. I may be crying, but I'm going to keep on walking.